Hi, my name is Amanda and I'm the curator at the Texas City Museum here in Texas City, Texas, located about halfway between Houston, Texas and Galveston, Texas. We are a local history museum. We are a collecting museum and so um, what that means is we do have our own collection and frequently the way we get our collection is by uh, donors, um, usually local people bringing in things that they think are important. Uh, when they bring them in, we give them an option of uh, giving us what's called the provenience of the object. And so that's sort of the who, what, when, why, and where of the artifact that they brought in. Sometimes people don't say very much, and um, sometimes they give us a whole story. And so what I would like to do is share the stories of our artifacts with you. Uh, so today, we are going to talk about this spear. Uh, which was donated back in 2002 um, and the reason that I chose this one is because it is actually it has a hurricane related story and as you know we just had Hurricane Harvey come through um, thankfully the museum is fine so that was good for us I know others did not fare as well um, the story uh, associated with this artifact was um, written by a lovely letter by the donor and so what she has to tell us is um, they originally thought it was a World War I bayonet because there was a World War I army camp here in Texas City. So the letter begins. This World War I bayonet washed up after the 1915 hurricane and was found by my grandfather, Walter Marshall, on his home place at what is now 7th Street and 17th Avenue North. The army encampment stretched from 6th Street to the bay and of course was unprotected by any seawall. My mother and her mother floated inside their home on a door until the water receded. Many items found on the surrounding areas had to be buried to get rid of them. Army mules, boats, and household items among them. I am donating this as a gift to the Heritage Museum so that other interested people can share in our history. And we hope that you enjoyed sharing in our little bit of history and maybe that you'll come down and see our spear. And if you aren't able to come, then uh, we hope that you will keep watching our videos as we share our history stories with you.